Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to make some black bean soup and I'm going to use my new pressure cooker. This is the Kosori Premium 6 quart pressure cooker. So I am going to open this up and then I will show you how to make the black bean soup. This one has, I believe it's like an 8 in 1 um, feature. I'll show you when I bring it out, but let me show you on the side here. It shows you the things that it comes with. So the cooking lid, a glass lid, which my other pressure cooker, cooker I had did not come with a separate glass lid, has a stainless steel pot, has an extra sealing ring, so you get two of them, recipe book, steamer rack, the base itself, and then a couple spoons and measuring cup. So let's get this opened. Now there is a Facebook group for this Kasori um, pressure cooker, so I will have that link down below, along with the link um, to Amazon where you can purchase this product. Um, also on that Facebook group, I was reading through some of the posts and it's talking about doing a water test to be start with. So I guess you're just testing the pressure of the water or the pressure of the machine. So I will be doing that before I make the soup, but I just wanted to show you all the different features. And of course I'm going to be using this a lot. I want to make sure I'm using it a lot um, to help me with meal prepping and, and whatnot. So I will show you as I use it. Um, you know, in different videos, all the different features. So we have meat and stew, white rice, slow cook, hot pot, poultry, brown rice, yogurt, saute and brown, soup, multigrain, pasta, boil, bake, beans and chili, steamed vegetables, steamed potatoes, and reheat. Then up here we have a delay start cook time. There's the stop and cancel, adjust, pressure, temperature, manual, plus sign, which I'm assuming when you hit manual and you do that, keep, keep warm and on, and then it's digital. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the water test, and then I will show you the black bean soup after I'm done with that. Okay, guys, so I'm getting ready to put the um, black bean soup together. So I pushed the saute brown button because I'm going to go ahead and saute up some vegetables. So let me tell you what I am starting out with. And I will have – now I am kind of doing – three different recipes. I was looking at black bean soup and there was like three different ones that I kind of, so I'm kind of just using them all for inspiration. So I will link those three down below, but I also will list everything down in the description box, how I made the recipe itself. So um, in this bowl here, I have one full white onion. I have one jalapeno that I diced up and I de-seeded and diced up. I have a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper, which you can use whatever bell peppers you want, of course. I do have two carrots that I peeled and diced up, and that is everything. So those are the vegetables that I'm going to go ahead and put inside here and saute up. So I'm going to use a little bit of cooking spray. So to use the saute function, you need to press that. I'm going to get it a little bit higher, so as far as the heat, so I'm going to hit adjust so it goes to more high, and then you just hit start and that'll start up the sauteing process. So I have all the vegetables in here so I'm going to go ahead and just get those all sa sauteed up until they are nice and tender then I'm going to add in the spices. Okay so um, as you probably saw on the screen of the pressure cooker here it did say 20 minutes for the saute but I'm not going to do that because I like my vegetables a little bit kind of crisp tender in a soup like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add the spices. So the spices you're going to need are going to be some cumin. So we're going to do two teaspoons of this. Which I am almost out of. Okay, and then you're going to need two teaspoons of chili powder. And of course you can adjust the spices for your liking and heat. I do like spicy stuff, so that's why I'm doing these. And then I'm gonna put this optional, and I don't have a label on this one, but um, this is cayenne pepper. So I'm just gonna do a half a teaspoon of this. And cayenne pepper definitely a little goes a long way, so be careful using it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of sea salt. and some black pepper. And 
Um, I'm also going to add in some minced garlic, which I do the cheap way and just buy it. So I'll just, I don't know, I don't ever measure garlic because I really like it. So I always just do a heaping mound. I don't know, that's not a measurement, but that's what I do. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this all up. Okay, so I'm just stirring this all up. And then we are almost ready to go. So what I'm going to do is add in my black beans. Now I'm using dried beans. So I have a pound of dried beans. Now with beans, you, whenever you buy dry ones, you always want to go through them and make sure there's no rocks in them and just rinse them off because they're really dusty usually. And sometimes rocks can get in to these. So I'm going to go ahead and dump these in. Now, if you don't use dry, if you use canned beans, then you're not going to want to cook this as long. So I would probably do, if you use canned beans, you might only do like 10 minutes on one of these um, pressure cook cookers. So this is definitely a recipe towards using dried beans. So I prefer dried beans. I do buy canned beans. If you guys watch my channel, you do say I'd buy canned beans. I always try to buy the no salt added, but sometimes, um, that is the convenience way to go, but um, now that I have one of these pressure cookers, I definitely want to start doing my own beans um, using the dried beans. So I'm going to dump all those in there. I'm going to kind of stir it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add in my vegetable broth. The vegetable broth I'm using is this fat-free organic vegetable broth. So I'm going to do, I only had one of these, so I'm going to do four cups of this and then just a cup of plain water as well. That way there's about five cups of liquid. That was one of the things I wasn't sure how much liquid to put in because one recipe said six, one recipe said four. So I, actually I think there was two that said six, one that said four. I thought I'll just do five. I think I have a little bit left in this. Did that come fit in there? So there's five cups of liquid in there. So I'm gonna mix it all up and then I'll show you what setting I'm going to use for this. It already looks so so yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on. Okay, and you wanna make sure you have this on the lock setting because we are gonna be using the pressure cooker. So this is, this right here is the release where there's a little um, cloud, or I guess it's steam, <laughs> and then there's a little lock here. You can't really see it on camera. So you wanna have it on the lock. Okay, so now we're getting ready to go ahead and start this up. Now I'm gonna use the manual setting because one of the things I've noticed on the recipes is there was one that said 30 minutes, one that said 40 minutes, one that said an hour, but none of them talked about using this beans and chili. And so I'm just, I think that would be good for if you're just making just the beans or just making some chili. So I'm not sure, cause this is only a 10 minute setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do manual. Um, I've been reading a lot of stuff on the Facebook group and a lot of them just use the manual setting for some of the things. I want to test these out eventually, but right now this is what I'm going to go with as a manual setting. One of the recipes said 30 minutes, one of them said 40, one of them said an hour. I'm going to do 40 because I also need to add in some corn in here, but I'm going to do that after the initial cooking and just kind of put the corn in there to heat it up. So after 40 minutes, if they're not, the beans are not quite done, then I can just put it in for like another 10 or so and just watch it. So I don't know if you can see on here. There's an unlock and a lock, and then there's a little arrow here. So I wanna make sure I have my lid locked. That, makes that little noise there. So let's go ahead and hit the manual button. And then we're gonna adjust the pressure and the temperature. I wanna do it on high. And then I wanna adjust the time. So I'm gonna do cook time, and then set it up to 40 minutes and then hit start. So now it's gonna build pressure. From my understanding, it takes about 15 minutes or so to build the pressure on a high setting. And then once um, this is done, then what I'll do is I wanna do a natural release. So you can release the valve up there and just do a release with the steam. But my understanding is a natural release kind of allows it, allows the food to, for soups and stuff is the better way to do it because it doesn't squirt out because soups has an, can have an issue with some of it coming out into the steam. So I'm going to do a natural release, which I, which I read takes about 15, 20 minutes. So I will go ahead and show you um, what it looks like after it is all done. So to do a natural release, um, you want to unplug the power cable. I'm not sure why, but that's what it said to do in the instructions. You let the unit cool down on its own for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that little red button is the float valve. And once it has 
drop down, then you can open the lid and the natural release is done. And it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see here the float valve is down, so you want to go ahead and turn then your um, pressure release valve over to release, which is like what looks like the little steam, and let any remaining steam out before you open up the unit. So there you go, and the beans are done perfect. I tried one and they are done perfectly. So what I do from here when I make any kind of like chili or beans like this, I will take about a cup and a half of it out and then put it into a blender and blend it up and that kind of just thickens up the soup. So that is what I did here. And then I just went ahead and just added in the can of corn that I had drained and I didn't even bother cooking it with it because I figured the soup is hot enough and it's going to, you know, it just needs to heat up the corn because the corn is cooked and I'm going to eat this until later anyway. So there you go, that is a zero point black bean soup that is packed with so much fiber and vegetables and it is so good for you. The way I served it, I served it with um, some fresh red pepper, some fresh red onions, fresh green onions, and then I put avocado on top and I also used some fat free sour cream. You can also use some fat fat free Greek yogurt. I just didn't have enough um, to use for this. And this is a yummy um, zero point soup. But the way I served it, it ends up being one smart point for the avocado. So there you go guys. Um, this is my first experience using the, the Kasori pressure cooker. I will see how I end up liking it, but so far I really like it. You guys know I had a bad experience with a different pressure cooker and that was mainly because of the inside was not a stainless steel. I can tell you this was so easy to clean up. It was amazing. So I really think I'm going to like this unit because really that was really the only thing I did not like about the other one. Well, I also didn't like it didn't have a saute brown function, which I didn't even know was a thing when I bought that. Um, it also didn't have it didn't have nearly as many of the functions and so it was really hard for me to replicate instant pot recipes because it called for um, functions my other pressure cooker did not have so I was doing two steps I was having to do things in a pan on the stove and then put it into the pot which kind of defeats the purpose of having an like instant pot so um, Anyway, I am really happy that I was given the opportunity to try out this machine. Like I said, this was a great experience with the black bean soup, and I will continue to let you guys know how I like it. Uh, make sure you click the links down below if you want to. The Facebook group is very, very um, active. I have gotten a lot of tips from there, and um, the... Um, link to buy it is also down below and right now at, at the time of this video that I'm making it right now it's been discounted down to $79.99 so a really great price and so far like I said I'm liking it and I will continue to let you guys know my thoughts on it as I continue to use it so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye guys